The alignment property positions the widget inside the parent exactly where you want. That's this property right here. It's like absolute positioning in CSS. So here I've got two containers, the parent container, which is filling up the full width and full height. And then inside I've got a hundred by a hundred container and the alignment is set to this upper left. And of course you can just move it around to anywhere in this grid and it's going to put it there. Now this little grid right here is more of just a helper because you can see these values over here change when we move it around and that's what that's doing you can of course have more fine grain control by manually editing these values right here now what's going on under the hood is that you've got a 2d grid with zero in the middle going up to one on the right side and negative one here and one at the bottom and negative one at the top so you can see if you set it to negative one negative one that would be in the upper left and positive one positive one would be in the bottom right and you can actually go higher than one and lower than zero so if i wanted to push my container off the screen right here i could just do 0 0.1 0 0.1 and it's pushed off the screen now in these two examples i've been filling up the whole screen but remember a line references the parent so it's positioning it inside the parent whatever size it is so if we go back to our first example here and let's just reset our container right now this is full screen but if we change the height to 50% of the screen. Now, if we put our container in this middle one right here, it's referencing the parent. Okay, so let's get practical. Let's look at two principles and then we're going to look at some examples. Principle number one, don't use a line for your main layout. Use your main layout widgets like columns and rows and their intrinsic alignment properties first. A line isn't meant for that. It's meant for secondary layout features. Like for instance, in this example right here, we've got this little selected icon right here. So whether you select dark or light mode, you're going to see the check right here. And this is a good use case for a line. The main layout of this component is a column. Things are stacked on top of one another. And then you've got a wrap or you could use a row right here. That's the main architecture. And then you've got these secondary features where we're using a line. And that's a good use case. Second, prefer to use a line on a widget itself and not a parent. Here's what I mean. If we come back to our original example right here and we've got our container this is the full width full height container and you scroll down to the bottom you can see that we've got this child property and this child alignment so what this is going to do is it's going to set the alignment for the children so here our container so we can just set this to the middle and this is getting overridden right now by the alignment property that's set so we can just scroll up here and remove it and then we can see it works like expected. But I said prefer not to do this. And this is not because there's something wrong with it. It's just a good workflow tip because typically you want widgets to have their own properties so you know where to look for them. If something is affecting the layout of this widget, it's easiest to look on the widget itself as opposed to looking to a parent. Now, in some cases, you will use that child alignment and that's totally fine. Just prefer to put it on the widget itself. Lastly, main use cases. The main uses for an align widget is going to be with a stack widget or a container. So here's an example right here where up in the top, we've got this branding going on and we've got a text widget that's just centered within this box and we've pushed it up a little bit from the bottom because we've got this overlapping going on. So that's a container. The other main use case with stack is like our example before, where you have some sort of card and let's dump a stack in here and you're layering a bunch of things on top and maybe in the upper right here, you want like a close icon. So let's just put this in and then you can position it in the upper right corner and maybe push it off a little bit from the right and the left. This is a great and common use case and that's alignment in Flutterflow.